I would like to learn from how to make a speech. Okay. Uh, the biggest thing about speeches is to uh, know your audience, know who you're talking to, and know what they care about. As everyone knows, today is a 14th year anniversary of the Tishnik massacre. So please now I ask you to stand and give them respect. Please, we will have 10 minute silence. Thank you. Is it good to give a compliment to audience? Uh, yeah, it's always good to give a compliment to the audience, uh, but it needs to be a sincere compliment. It needs to be something that, that uh, they feel comes from the heart. I uh, hope uh, you all like me. I hope uh, you like me very much. I would like to do a romance inside of you, but uh, not uh, only if she let me, not with force. All day long, when I see you, I think of you, no clothes, wawa wiwa, but he's a very wonderful. Thank you to meet a great man. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Dear Manal, Wagwan, today we'll be chatting about the family. Does you think the way we is bringing up kids is changing? Uh, yes, we're raising them differently now. Um, uh, some of it's great, some of it's not so great. So at what age does you think parents should give their kids their first spliff? I don't think they should do that because what? it's illegal in our society. How's the kid going to know what's good shit and what ain't? You know, I, I was a drug user for almost three years Respect. during my... <laughs> no, uh, <laughs> everything but a needle. Everything else. Does you think that parents should educate kids about sex? Yes, I do. Um, and, and I think that... I think that parents should um, should answer kids' questions honestly, or even take the initiative. So, should parents invite the kids into r the room while they is no, boning, no, no, or should no, they no. show them porno? No, 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 no. But like me, Dad, when we asked him about sex, him said, "Yo, you hide in that kitchen cupboard tonight at eight o'clock. Mm. Then eight o'clock." He brought back this honey much fitter than my mum and him like boned her every which way while winking at me. And man, I still use some of their moves like the crouching soldier, whatever. Mm -hmm. Ain't that right? See, that, that sort of incident, for, to me, it seems disrespectful of your mother. So part of what No, she went in the house. I actually suspect that most kids, most places in the world, learn about yeah. sex. Because everybody they sleeps in the same room. bedroom. Or from animals. Dogs. <laughs> How does you learn about sex from animals? Well, you can watch them having sex. Yeah, but that's kind of weird sex. People do it with animals like... No, no, I'm not talking about... I'm talking about like a dog <laughs> with a dog. All right. Let's talk about a difficult subject, a very tattoo subject. Relationships in the family, or as it's called, incense. Incense. Incest. Mm -hmm. What? Incest. Whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Does you think it's wrong that a brother can never marry his sister? Yes. I do. Yes. For real. Because once the, I was at my mate Jessie F's 15th birthday party, and me didn't know she was my cousin, but there was this game where if you got locked in the cupboard, you had to bone her. Is that okay, or did I do insects? The definition of incest does vary a great deal from culture to culture. Mm -hmm. But what if you've got Halle Berry as your sister? You know, 
How is you going to stop yourself fancying her? Because if you don't fancy her, you is basically gay, isn't it? <laughs> no. I, you know, there are lots of boys who grew up with very attractive sisters, and they still want to pull their pigtails. I mean, I is all right. My sister is, you know, she's a dog. Like, her body's all right, you know. Her butt is, like, fine, and she's got, like, amazing tits. But her face is, like, a real brown bagger. So I ain't got that problem. But is it always wrong to see your sister in a kind of sexual way? Because I feel weird about it. Like, all my mates in my hood of stains say that she give the best blowies in the area. But I know I should feel proud about that, <laughs> but I feel, I feel weird and uncomfortable, should I? Sure. She's your sister. You lot out there, family, you are the different sides. You make her opinion. Be safe. Keep it legal. Respect. West Side. Eagle, you're looking great. Coming up nine minutes. 1,400 feet, still looking very good. Here's enough. Good day. Safe. What be your name? I'm Dr. George Washington. What? Dr. George Washington. All right. Wicked. So does vets mainly look after sick animals? No, we do a lot of preventive medicine, reproductive work and everything. Why was there so many sick animals in Vietnam? There, there wasn't that many sick animals in Vietnam. But weren't there like millions of Vietnam vets? You're confusing terminology here. Okay, a veterinarian is a doctor of veterinary medicine. He's a person that treats animals. For real? So, ah, it's getting it. So loads of people went to Vietnam and then treated animals there? No, no, no. You're confusing the term. All right. I'm a veteran, but I'm also a veterinarian because I served time as a veterinarian in the military. For real? So why do so many of those people from the military then later on in life want to start working with animals? They don't. They can do anything they want to. There's no relation between a veteran of the military right. and a veterinarian. Respect. And you is? I'm both. Oh, man, that's so confusing. I, I, I don't <laughs> understand it. So to make this clear to young people out there, people who fight in wars is called veterinarians. No. People who are called veterans. Whatever. Veterans, people, who does the animal thing, is called veterina veter Vet veterans. No, veterinarians. Veterinarians. V -E -T -E -R -I -N -A -R. Respect. V-E-T-E-R-I-N-A-R. It's veterinarians. When you was a kid, did you know that you wanted to grow up and be a veteran? Well, you're still confusing. Just, just forget the word veteran. All right. Please. How often is animals actually sick and how often is they faking it just so them can get a day off work? Animals aren't faking it to get a day off work. But what does you do if there's like a knock on your door and there's like a goat out there, whatever, and he says he's got flu, but you know he's lying? Does a he goat, tell the farmer? The goat doesn't talk to us. It's the farmer that talks to us. So is there a lot of sex diseases with animals? There are a few, but not many that's transmitted. Is that because most animals wear connies? No. So is you saying that the man cows just whip it out and jizz over their Babylons or what? No. So how does they stop getting them preggers? So, is there any animals that ain't been discovered yet? There could be. They've just found some in some of the jungles, different places that they didn't know exist. Has you got any photos of the ones that ain't been discovered? No. All right, what about a video or something like? Well, if you had a video, they'd have been discovered. All right. Not if they videoed themselves. They, they aren't smart enough to operate a video. You aren't going to see that chicken there. Taking a video around. All right. He doesn't have enough. His brain is not developed enough. Yo, for that. man, him can hear you saying that. Don't cuss him. 
I'm not. I'm not cussing. I say he doesn't. His brain is not developed enough. He's like just there. He's gonna hear you say that and be like well upset, isn't it? No, he's not. Like, look at that. That's why she wanted it. So Oi! I like this. Look at that fucking thing. What's that? That's a chicken. What? That thing? It's a chicken. Is that a real animal? That's a chicken. Check it out. Has you ever seen anything like that? Yeah. Look at it. He's got feathers on his feet. <laughs> How come he is wearing that? That's the way Mother Nature, that's the way his genes are. He was born. So where is, like, the tigers? The, this is not a zoo. This is a farm. This is like, uh, uh, this is more like a farm you would have seen probably when I was a kid. What about a hippopotamus? Hippopotamus, there, you go to the National Zoo and you can see them. What, you ain't got them here either? No, this is not a zoo, this is a farm. You know what a farm is? Well, it's like a rubbish zoo, obviously. Okay, I hope you learned something about animals. Yo, me learned a lot because about you animals. Have, you have a lot to learn. Keep it real. Okay. Enough respect. Okay. Safe. Safe. Wicked. Okay. Does you think that if they increase the punishments for terrorists, that less of them would do it? I don't know. If you think of people who are willing to strap bombs on themselves and go into buildings and blow themselves up, I'm not sure that you can threaten them with punishment. So what punishments does you think you should give to suicide bombers? I mean, it's very hard to do anything to a suicide bomber. They've already committed suicide. But don't you think if you said, if you does suicide bomb, we're going to give you 20 years in jail, that then wouldn't do it? You mean if you blow yourself up and you've already killed yourself, now you're going to threaten them with jail? Mm, think of the logic of what you just said. Doesn't make sense. Of course. Because they're dead. Listen up. Me name be Buchanan. Me knows enough things about politics. Get involved, mock daddies. Y'all better realize that nothing be a better way to get y'all kicks. West side, I.E.